Bonjour. Welcome to Weekly with Olivier Vedrin. I am Olivier Vedrin. We will spend together 20 minutes. The first part of my program is an international press review. Second part, I will receive a guest. Then, to start, I think we have to talk about the result of the election in USA and the victory of Donald Trump. What I see in USA? Big reaction. The victory of Donald Trump shocked the US citizens. You know that a lot of analysts, experts, were waiting for a victory of Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump won. The reaction is a very, very important in a lot of cities around USA. Some riots happen. But now we can see that the speech of Donald Trump is changing. Even Obama in some newspaper say that American democracy is bigger than any one person. That's mean. The policy of USA will not change a lot. You know, the policy of USA is already the same from one century ago. Then Donald Trump, yes, will propose some change, but I'm sure that the main issues of the policy of USA and international policy will not change. And we can see that the next uh, step of Donald Trump will be to unify uh, America. Donald Trump, in this first uh, interview uh, for CBS, wanted to underline that he wants to be the president of all the US citizens. We can see a lot of uh, changes in the uh, speech of uh, Donald Trump. And that's very important. If you see, just after the US election, the titles of the US newspaper, a lot of them were totally afraid. But now, with the uh, first uh, speeches of Donald Trump, we can wait for something uh, more, I uh, can say, diplomatic from this new president. Now, he has to be the president of USA and not only a candidate. And that's a big difference. But anyway, now in USA, we can see a big political crisis. Nobody was waiting for this result. Now, in USA, the future of the democracy is also very important for the rest of the world, the future of the US democracy. The impact of this election has also an impact for all the world. You know, USA is and was an example of democracy and freedom. Then now, with this new election, we are afraid. Why? Because of the arguments of Donald Trump as a candidate. But as I said, now the speech of the president, Donald Trump, is changing from the candidate, Donald Trump. Then, now, during two months, we will wait. We don't know already what will happen. The world now is afraid about the next few months we will have with this new president of USA. I want to also talk about the, what's happened in Europe after this US election.
And first, I want to speak about what's happened in France. And after, I will speak about what's happened in Germany and the result for Europe and for Ukraine. This week, in the very famous uh, uh, French journal Le Monde, we can see a very interesting analysis about the first interview of Donald Trump. And we can see that the president, as I said, changed his uh, speech. Of course, uh, I can say this is for me like a joke, but uh, Donald Trump promised uh, to uh, he will not receive his uh, his income his salary of uh, U.S. president. But you know, he he has more than three billion dollars, and I think he he really don't need uh, he doesn't need this uh, this salary. But the in the, the journal Le Monde, the first uh, issue for this newspaper is that Donald Trump is facing some riots in USA and the, the biggest issue uh, on the line in this newspaper is that Donald Trump has to unify now USA and this is really, really, really very difficult for him. Also, what we can see in this, uh, new, uh, in this new issue of Journal Le Monde this week is that Donald Trump is a very conservative uh, person and he will be a very conservative president. Uh, for example, uh, he, will, he, will, he will take some uh, judge, a very conservative judge in the Supreme Court of USA and that's really, really one of the biggest points of this newspaper. He said also that he is not a guest uh, uh, wedding for same, same sex wedding. And uh, he said also that uh, he really wants to build uh, a wall between uh, uh, Mexico and the uh, US. And, uh, and also, it was very interesting because uh, during all the campaign of uh, Donald Trump, he spoke a lot about Obamacare and now really is he want he don't want to change very much this law and that's very uh, good news for for some US citizens then in the journal Le Monde we want to underline that Donald Trump really really Donald Trump is changing his speech now in Germany in the famous newspaper Der Spiegel the 11th of November, we can see the title, The World is Crumbling in Front of Our Eyes. Yeah, that was a shock. And in some newspaper uh, after the US election in Germany, like in Der Spiegel, you can see a lot of titles like that. In Germany, as friends, as a lot of country is shocked about the result of the election. Germany is a leading country of the uh, European Union. And if Germany is shocked like that, this is at first because of problem of security. Germany is afraid about one thing, the engagement of US in NATO. Germany is really take care about its security and really Germany is really afraid about what Donald Trump will do those next months with NATO. NATO is not a company. NATO is a world security organization. And Germany is afraid about, can we trust Donald Trump for our security? Can we trust Donald Trump to face a Russian aggression? Can we trust Donald Trump to help Ukraine? In a lot of German newspapers, like in a lot of French newspapers, we 
now understand that Europe and the European Union is alone. We can see in a lot of newspapers in Europe that now EU has to build its own security and army. That's a big point of the results of the US elections. European Union is alone. What can be the impact for Ukraine? Now we are waiting for Ukraine from the new uh, Trump administration some element that uh, this new administration will take care also about Ukraine. Now, as I said, the next few weeks will be very dangerous for Ukraine, for Europe, and for all the European continent. Because, as you know, Putin will never stop. And now, during those next weeks, we will have to take care about our own security and Europe is really alone. And that's really the first result of the election of Donald Trump in USA. We have to stand up. We are never give up. Ukraine, Ukraine is the target of an imperial policy and now Europe has to take care about Ukraine because we are. I repeat, we are alone now. Other points of the results of the election of Donald Trump is also the impact on the next elections in France and in Germany. Yes, we can see and maybe we will see a populism wave all around Europe. Next year, in France, we have the presidential elections. And, as you know, Le Pen, Marine Le Pen, is the leader of one of the biggest political parties in France. And I am afraid, personally, that the victory of Donald Trump will give some energy to Marine Le Pen to win a lot of voters. At the same time, next year, we will have election in Germany. And as you know, some right, far-right party are increasing in Germany. What, bid will be, what will be the future of uh, the democracy in Germany? What will be the impact also in Germany about with the victory of Donald Trump? In Germany, in France, the victory of Donald Trump will have for sure a big impact. And really, with the increasing rates of populism and nationalism in Europe, that's really, really a very bad news. I hope now that more and more Democrat citizen will involve in civil society to face this populism in Europe. But anyway, the result of this election of Donald Trump, we can see and we will see that this election will have a big impact for Europe for the next election in France and in Germany. I am very happy to receive today the ambassador of France. Her Excellency, Madame Isabelle Dumont. Hello, Hello nice to meet you. Thank you for Then um, I have a few questions for you. And we will discuss at first about the business forum mm -hmm. in Paris at the end of October. Uh, what is the result of this forum? What, what you can say about that? Um. I think it was a very successful forum, mm. indeed. Mm -hmm. uh, first, a lot of people participated. We had more than 300 people that participated the whole day. So it's, uh, it really shows the interest of, uh, of people for, for this forum. 
And I would say that uh, both from the French part and Ukrainian part, because it has to be win-win, mm -hmm. people were positive. Mm -hmm. On the French side, it allowed French business companies to know better Ukraine. Uh, we had uh, the Prime Minister, uh, Roisman, was accompanied by two ministers, Mr. Kutuvoy, Agriculture Minister, and, uh, and uh, Mr. Omelian, mm. uh, Infrastructure and Transport. And they had round tables to which business companies dedicated to those areas could exchange directly with the ministers, and, and they were indeed really happy about that. And from the Ukrainian side, uh, I think it allowed Ukrainian um, leadership to understand better to what extent French companies actually play a very important role in Ukraine. Uh, people don't know usually that uh, French companies are the first employer, first international employer here in Ukraine. Uh, that's Whoa. something. Yeah, that's something people don't know. Wow. So this is the th sort of thing that yeah, people great. Uh, just got interested here in Ukraine, organizing this forum and discovering to what extent France is actually very important here in Ukraine. But in in those forum, uh, you know, th this forum is very useful to solve some problems. Then, uh, can you can you can you say to us uh, um, what is the result uh, which which what will be the the, the future of uh, this um, this forum well first uh, the mo i would say the most visible part mm -hmm. uh, was the signature between ng the world uh, mm -hmm. well-known uh, french company and the gas sector mm -hmm. with naftogaz mm -hmm. uh, to sort of start uh, investing uh, in, in this sector in Ukraine. And this is symbolically very, very important. Uh, so this is, I, I would say, the most visible. Second outcome is what we saw in the, in the next days and weeks after the mm -hmm. forum, which is that we are getting quite a lot of phone calls from French business, mm -hmm. uh, French companies, asking us, I saw this forum, I, or I was at the forum, and I want to know more because I'm thinking of investing in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. So it is um, starting. I mean, it shows that there is a growing interest after the forum in uh, in, uh, in the French companies for Ukraine. Um, then you asked me about uh, problems. Indeed, uh, as you said, uh, there are always issues to be raised. Mm -hmm. Prime Minister met with uh, the French Prime Minister and some issues were, were raised. What I would say is that um, mainly there were two important problems. I don't want to be too specific mm -hmm. uh, publicly, mm -hmm. but two issues that, uh, that were raised. Prime Minister uh, assured us that they would be solved, so I'm, uh, I'm pretty optimistic. Now it was uh, three weeks ago, nearly four months, uh, four weeks ago. It's not solved yet, mm. so I would just hope it will indeed be solved because it would be a real uh, positive s sign. Okay, nice. Then uh, we are waiting. We are waiting for uh, for the, this uh, lot of outcomes about this forum. Another very interesting subject, Chernobyl. Yes. I know that our country, France, uh, was involved. Uh, and what you can say about because now well, this is the end of uh, the new uh, arch. Um, the arch of uh, Chernobyl and what because France is very engaged uh, our uh, French companies and please can you can you say what will happen at the end of November? Yeah, thank you very much indeed uh, uh, for giving me this opportunity to talk about Chernobyl. Um, uh, as you know, Ukraine has been uh, has got a, a huge international support. Uh, people maybe don't realize to what extent international community, not only France, mm -hmm. international com community, especially EBRD and G7 countries, have uh, uh, have uh, given a lot of efforts and, and money to to Ukraine. It's uh, the total is is about three billion uh, euros. So it's a, it's a huge uh, a huge mm -hmm. uh, money. Uh, if you remember, uh, after the explosion in uh, 1986, uh, still during the Soviet era, a first sarcophagus was built uh, among the fourth reactor that, uh, that exploded. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but then it appeared quite quickly that it was um, problematic um, mm -hmm. and we had to build something above to protect it. Mm -hmm. uh, and what you are seeing here, yeah. this is the new sarcophagus, mm -hmm. so what, we, what, you, what is, mm -hmm. that is called the yeah. arch, yeah. the Chernobyl arch, which is uh, built see. actually by a French, um, French, uh, French consortium. Mm -hmm. uh, the name is Novarka, but mm -hmm. it's actually two huge in engineering French companies, mm -hmm. Bouygues and Vinci. Mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. uh, which are leading this consortium, obviously using a lot of international companies. Mm -hmm. And uh, France um, is the second national country uh, which gave the most money uh, for, for this uh, arch after the United States. So the French implication is huge, both fin financially and in terms of engineering, and we have actually lots of uh, French families living out yeah, there yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. because they are working on the on the project. So for us, I, I have to say, as a French ambassador, I'm really uh, proud of uh, of what uh, what we did with the whole international community, but uh, but France being a lead, playing a leading role in, in this. And you mentioned the twenty, the end of uh, yeah, November. Yeah, end of November. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it has been a long-standing project. The arch uh, will be pushed at the end of November. Above the above the fourth reactor. Wow. Uh, what happened is that it was obviously too dangerous to to build the arch on the reactor because uh, still there are radiation. So they built it uh, 300 meters from mm. the reactor, really? and now it will now that it's ready. It was a huge mm. in the industrial project. Yeah, it this will is be pushed. Very, very very large building. Yes. It's, it's amazing. actually it's amazing, really. It's amazing. It is. It's actually 108 or nine uh, meters high. Yeah. Oh, oh, look, uh, look which the exactly? Of that's, that's what I wanted to tell you. Which, by the way, that could contain the, the Statue of Liberty, and it's a beautiful symbol because actually, if you remember, mm. the Statue of Liberty was built in France, in France, sent to the United in States uh, in uh, 1886 uh, yeah. uh, as a present from the French people to the American people, and now it's sort of symbolic. You know, could be here also under this uh, this arch. And then you, you, the twenty the twenty nine of November. That will be the the end of the of the work. Or the, the, you will after that the France will stay in this place to to control what will happen after that. On the on the twenty nine of November, what uh, what uh, is going to happen is a, a ceremony to to sort of symbolize and to pu to push uh, the last meters or centimeters of the, the arch because it does take some time uh, to be pushed. Uh, but after that, uh, the idea the arch will protect the reactor for one hundred uh, years. That mm. was in the tender that, that mm. was, was supposed to, to, to happen. But obviously, something has to be done uh, with the material yeah, that I is know. inside. Mm -hmm. So then what's going to the second phase, uh, if you want, will be to unconstruct uh, or to untake the, 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 the reactor. But this is already up to the Ukrainian uh, authorities. Then I am very happy that France is very involved in Ukraine. Indeed. And, uh, and France will continue to be involved, I know. You can believe, uh, be count on us to continue supporting Ukraine, for sure. Thank you, Her Excellency. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Merci, Merci beaucoup. <laughs> I hope you enjoy those uh, 20 minutes together. See you next Sunday. Goodbye. Au revoir.